What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, I promise, man, it would never cease to amaze me how I see how some people uh, have no respect for the power of nature. And what made me do this topic is because I saw a, a story about these uh, this submersible uh, vessel that went down into the Atlantic Ocean to have a tour of the, the wreckage of the Titanic ship that sank back in 1912. Um, and if you have enough money, if you got enough money, you can actually pay to, to, to be a part of this tour that six, seven people, 10 people, however many it is, you can board this uh, submersive vessel that takes you down to the record so you can get a bird's eye view. Now, while I am one of those people who are uh, very fascinated with certain aspects of history and certain situations, you know, Titanic included, I, you know, among other things, um, I have zero desire of traveling down into the depths of the ocean and um, just to see the wreckage. Anything that I want to see, I will try to see it on land um, but the vessel is now missing and it's been missing since Sunday and the truth of the matter is is that there's a pretty good chance that the people on board that vessel they're gone um, the people on that vessel included that was the, uh, the actual CEO of the company who brings the people down into who, who's over the tour basically. Um, another billionaire, a couple other people, you know, some prominent people on that vessel, man. But I just don't believe that there are certain aspects of nature that you should be playing around with. It's certain stuff you need to just fall back on. Just, hey man, just do the regular research like everybody else. It's, it's kind of um, in a similar vein, not quite, but in a similar vein to when you see people who like to play around with dangerous wild animals. People who like to uh, get too close to the, to the lion. The people who like to uh, get too close to the gorilla. You know, play around in the jungle and things of that nature. And then they end up getting half of their anatomy snatched off because they were in the element of the wild animal. They were in a part of nature that was not conducive to their safety and to their existence. You know, because you in their house. You know, you, you, what what would you do if, a, if, if an alligator knocked on your door and wanted to come in and make, a, make himself at home? You know, your reaction would be swift and, and deadly if possible. Not that an alligator can just show up and knock on your door, but you know what y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, so there are just certain things, man, that just in my in my view, that we need to leave alone. There's a line between man and certain aspects of nature that should never be crossed. And when you cross those lines so, at the time of me making this video, you know, it's what it is, technically it's Wednesday, and from Sunday, 20 foot vessel underwater that deep for three days, and you only get a certain amount of um, oxygen that's available within that vessel because you're on a time limit to how long you can even be down there before you gotta be pulled back up. It's a great chance those people are lost. And, you know, it's a sad situation, um, but I think there's, there's a lesson in it just like, man, hey, man, you know, leave that stuff alone, man. You read about it. You know, read about it. Go look at it. Look, go look at it on the internet. But when you have this urge to want to get close to things that mm -mm, you shouldn't want to get close to, Playing, you're playing, you're playing a dangerous game, and uh, we've seen it 
throughout history. You know, I know a lot of people they may talk about the space shuttle and you know, and I, and I think intentions and motives have a lot to do with certain things too. You know, you you get to playing around with certain things. It's like, you know, nah, man. You know, you get shown real quickly that that's not for you to do. So um, the continuation of this, when well, I say the continuation of this particular top the story within the topic, but within the topic, um, you know, we see how man likes to tamper with food and likes to tamper with water and likes to tamper with the environment and all the different things that they do and and in a lot of cases to intentionally uh, poison the environment and, and poison the food and things of that nature um, things of that nature they are playing with nature when they go into the very seeds that are used for farming when they when they alter when they manufacture seeds that are not natural um, for different means and different reasons for monetary gain and, and just for um, the purpose of uh, population control. <sighs> Playing a dangerous game, man. Playing a dangerous game, man. Uh, I'm I'm thankful <laughs> that. I don't side, I don't stand on the side of that type of behavior. And my curiosity does not drive me to the point where I want to go to those depths, no pun intended. So keep that in mind, man. You know, we are all part of nature. And there is a place for all of us. There's, there are specific places for all of us within uh, the scope of nature. And there are things that are for us in nature. And there, are, there are things that are not for us. There are, there are parts of nature that we've never laid eyes on and never will. But they all have a purpose and they all have a function. But if your purpose is to distort nature and, and use it for uh, a dirty purpose, then we'll see how that works out for you, man. All right, man, it's your big brother, K-Reno. I'll catch y'all with another one real soon. Peace and love.